Guys, go ahead and open up dance.jpg. It is a JPG format. Let me explain that again for you guys. It is a Lucy format in which they stripped out a lot of the detail, still retaining the image. All right, so the image still is being retained, but a lot of the detail is gone that the human eye can't pick up. So it's still a great image. It's compressed. There could be some blotchy areas. That probably doesn't have to do with the compression as much more of the photographer itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to save as. So we're going to go to File, select Save As, or Shift Control S. You're going to go ahead and just save it as Dance 2. Dance 2, select Save. And I want to show you the little scroll bar. Let's go ahead and talk about numbers. The higher the number, the better the image quality, but to a certain point. Right now, it recommends that we save it as high. All right, see there's maximum high, medium, and low. At high, the image is going to probably look the same as it would if it was in the original form. The human eye won't be able to pick up any greater detail if we go any greater, like to maximum. You're not going to gain anything out of it. The only thing that happens is you're going to have a larger file size. So high is recommended. If we really are trying to squeeze an image into a certain size, we might go lower than that, but you're sacrificing detail and quality because for an image size. So there's a great balance that you have to determine. I say leave it at high. That's the best option. We're going to go ahead and select OK. Oh, by the way, all this stuff down here, you can ignore that right now. And this is our Dance 2 image. What we're going to do right now is to uh, notice that it's still a JPEG. It hasn't changed it because we haven't done anything different. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of modifications. You're just going to go ahead and watch me this time. And uh, you're going to see what happens when I try to save it again. Alright, I'm go. I'm back here now and I made a couple of changes to it, nothing dramatic, just to change the image just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and go to File and let's uh, go ahead and see what happens when we try to save. Now when we save, notice that everything changes. What I've done was I've added a lot of elements to this image now where it is no longer safe to just save it as a JPEG because if I were to save it as a JPEG, all of the things that I've done to it, it's going to get flattened down and it's just going to become an image like a JPEG where if I were to open it up again, I can't see any of the changes I made. I just see the image. Okay, That's why when you try make a lot of changes or once you start modifying an image, it becomes a working file and that's why it becomes a PSD. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select Save right now. Again, you're just watching this. Don't try to replicate it. And right now, notice that it becomes a PSD. What this means is this is now a working file for Photoshop. So what I want to do is if I want to use this file, if I want to send it to anybody, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go ahead and choose um, Save As, and I can make modifications and change it to another format. Okay? Or if I want to go to File, I can also choose save for web devices and in this version it's geared towards saving it for the web or sending out the document. Here are my different formats that I can use from. If I were to choose GIF, notice that it limits me to 256 colors like I mentioned earlier. If I change the format to JPEG, it's just like the JPEG I had originally. Here's the high options. Our qualities instead of uh, 6, 8, 9, 10, it's down to even a greater detail. So you can kind of really say that I want, instead of 80, I just want 74, okay? And then you could add, save it to the presets or whatnot. And of course, here are some more options, JPEGs, uh, other options, Windows bitmap. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and select save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to choose in my digital life folder, Photoshop Lesson 2, I'm going to go ahead and call this Dance 3. And I'm going to go ahead and save the image. And now I save the image for the web, but notice that I'm still in the PSD. Again, remember the PSD is a working format. I'm going to close this out. It's going to ask me to save my changes. I'm going to go ahead and go back to open. And here's what's going on here. And I'm going to switch the view so you can see the details. Notice that Dance 1, Dance 2, and Dance 3 here are in JPEG format. 
and we have dance 2 which is not in JPEG format, which is in a PSD file, and that's our working file. I also note the difference in file size. Do you see how large that number is? Again, guys, that's because we saved it. It's a, our working file. There's a lot of information there that if I were to save it as a JPEG, it would, it would compress that image, but also I would be losing the ability to open it up again and make more modifications to it. I hope that kind of explains a little bit about saving. I hope that didn't confuse anyone. But again, just listen to your instructors, watch it, uh, watch the video. When it comes to saving, we'll try to walk you through it. But again, remember, if you're just making some simple modifications to an image, like cropping or changing the um, the size of an image when you save it, it'll save it as a JPEG or save it as the original format. But once you start going complex, and we're going to do that in less than uh, or in chapter three, it's going to start getting a little crazy here. So make sure that you guys uh, follow along, try to pay attention, and um, understand that a PSD is our working file. And that's all part of the workflow.